Howdy, I'm K6RFE, living in Arizona right now, and they call me Radio's Fiercest Enemy. My nickname is Buck, for those that have talked to me on various modes. In uh, Back in the 70s, I took some country music I'd written and went to Nashville. Little did I know that everything had gone disco. Rather than leave Nashville beat, I wrote the CQ Boogie. And in just a few seconds now, you'll hear the CQ Boogie. Let her flip. Place, and I was shocked to hear his XYL say, 
Night after night, I'm stuck with that darn TV set, watching shows I don't even like, while he sits in there at that shortwave set yet and CQ, CQ at a hundred dollar mic. While most of the time, he don't even know I'm here, unless he runs out of coffee or needs a cold beer, and you just won't believe what I'm going to say next. That darn radio gadget has just about replaced sex. Last month, he fell off the tower and darn near broke his neck, but he came living in, grabbed the mic, and screamed, CQ, D. And for my birthday, he went too blame far. He robbed the kid's piggy bank and bought a two-way for the car. But there's one thing I've learned. If you can't fight them, join them. So one day I picked up the mic. At first, of course, it was just annoying. My first contact was a while in Idaho, as I remember. She told me how to make a cake using cucumber. Now I'm having so much fun, I'm on my 10th log book. Between nets, round tables, and schedules, I never have time to cook. Well, I got her message loud and clear. But she called to me and said one more thing as I went out the door. Hey, give my regards to your XYL and tell her I'm not living a radio widow's life no more. Well, I bumped into old Earl out in the street. He just shook his head and said, oh, what the heck. Back of the house, we could hear her screaming. Secure, 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 yes. 